Hey everyone, welcome to On Fish TV. Today I'm out at Osage Lake here in Bah. Hey everyone, welcome to On Fish TV. Today I'm out at Osage Lake in northeastern Wyoming. We're here hoping to smack some trout, maybe some largemouth bass, perch, crappie. You just never know what we're going to bring through the ice. This is my first ice fishing trip of the season. And what I'm using right now is just a little soft plastic minnow looking guy. And uh, this should catch every species in here, I would think. I may switch it up. I'll let you know if I do. I got my good friend Justin out here. Justin, say what's up. What's up, guys? Good morning. I'm gonna use some of this bird poop here to, to hold my camera up. A little bird poop action. Gotta have it. My fish that I was marking came up off the bottom. Looks like there's one hanging down at the hug in the bottom. Got right here. That wind is whipping today. Out here. Yeah. Make for some good antelope hunting. Yeah. Woo. She's a little thin. There's a mark on bottom. Mark I just had a mark on bottom. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Got one. Yeah. Rainbow. Nice little rainbow trout. First fish of the day. I'm in 10 feet of water here. Caught him on my little plastic. Nice little, nice little rainbow trout. Cool. See ya, bud. That fish came off the bottom. 10 feet. Fishing with these sonars, the flashers makes a big difference because you can see when a fish comes into your area and how it reacts to your lure. Um, it, they're pretty much a necessity nowadays makes your time a lot more productive out here oh got one perch nice little perch here Hold on to them. <laughs> cool. Two species now. That release wasn't very good. Now I know there's some really nice largemouth and crappie in here. Two fish right quick. I'll take that. I'd love to catch one of the big crappies. That's kind of why I came over to the, the... This used to be an old dock. And you could come all the way out to the end here. But it got broke up or something. I don't know what exactly happened to it. I haven't been out to this lake in many years. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Right now I'm fishing, uh, I've got my 
<clears throat> bait about eight feet down in 10 feet of water so about two feet up off the bottom and i'm just watching below my bait here watching for any marks that come in the trout are wanderers they can be pretty much anywhere in the water column but since I, every fish that i've marked has been off the bottom i'm trying to focus my attention down down there both of those fish were aggressive yeah they just came up and hit it right away Mark it. really hopefully he comes back he flew up off the bottom he's a small one you got one? Yeah. Yeah. Rainbow? Well, isn't that a spoon that you got on right there? Yeah. That's first fish of the season. Sweet. A little hawking special right there. <laughs> there you go. Nice little rainbow. Nice little rainbow. Cool. Cool, cool. They don't go far for No, they don't. So the trout oh, we're marking. Oh Just had a bite. Come back, buddy. Come on, eat it. <laughs> the trout you really don't have to move around for, but I'm hoping to get on a large mouth as well. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch up locations and see if we can't find a large mouth. Here we go. I'm gonna see about doing a different hole. Maybe get large. Five feet of water in this hole. Right next to some structure. That'd be so cool to get a bass. It's the first day of December. Not much ice around the Gillette area without going quite a distance up into the high country. That's why we chose to come here. So far, not a bad start to the ice fishing here. What? No, not yet. Had a good mark over here in five feet of water. You got one? What'd you have? Huh? Was it another trout? Yeah. Here we go. There's one. Got one. Trout? Yep. Nice little rainbow trout on the little minnow looking jig. Oh, oh slippery guy. Nice rainbow. Nice rainbow. Fun stuff. Alright. We'll see you, bud. Got one? Yeah! Well, it's pretty windy out here. I think we might head to Keyhole and see if we can find some ice there. 
I was out there yesterday fly fishing and I didn't see any any good ice but that doesn't mean that we can't find something so thanks for watching on fish tv uh hope you liked today's show uh hit that subscribe button and share with your fishing friends